Welcome to Jaw TV. My name is Tarot, and this is Ashley. You ever wonder how life might be if answered the hard situation just won't seem to pop up? If you can ask for help and get it instantly. Well, today we're going to explore some technology that does just that. We will also look at how one might use this technology. As a matter of fact, what are you doing over there? What are you playing with? Well, nothing. It's a little app I found. It's really cool. It allows you to look up any information in your neighborhood. This is great for learning more about the activities and fun stuff going around town. Tavao, what are you doing? Who, me? Yes, Tavao. I found these glasses. I thought I might try them out. What do you think? Whoa! These are wild! I can see you, but there's some extra information on the screen. It's asking me if I need help. It'd be cute if I found my deck today. But what about the show? I really like these. Oh, yeah, the show. On today's show, we'll learn about wearable augmented reality. But what is augmented reality anyway? We'll find out after word from our sponsors. Career Communications Group, Inc. and Juxtopia Urban Learning Technology invite you to participate in the first annual CCG Jolt Engineering Challenge. Teams or individual engineers can enter the conference by registering at www.juxtopia.org slash CCG Jolt 2011. See if you have what it takes to create the most innovative engineering solution to the nation's most critical challenges ranging from healthcare, education, alternative energy to construction infrastructure, homeland security, and commercial space. Conduct research on creating an innovative engineering concept or prototype that has the potential to transform into a commercial product and solve a national or worldwide problem. Winners for this year's challenge will be awarded at the Black Engineer of the Year Award 2012 Conference. Engineering through engineering innovation. Augmented reality can be experienced either with wearable goggles or mobile devices. Movies like Iron Man and Dazzle the Masses while demonstrating that. If a pair of glasses or goggles can superimpose and register digital information on real-world objects, the possibilities of enhanced sensory and cognitive capabilities are potentially limitless. Mobile handheld devices also offer great options for AR and have been demonstrated with location-aware intelligence using, for example, GPS. Have you used a GPS system lately? That was interesting. I never knew that. I really like this virtual reality stuff. No, Terrell, that was not virtual reality. That was augmented reality. Virtual reality is simulation. Yeah, I know that. I saw them in my glasses. That's not what I mean. Just watch the clip. Check this out. In 1994, Paul Milgram and Fumio Kishino defined a mixed reality as anywhere between the extrema of the virtuality continuum, where the virtuality continuum extends from the completely real through to the completely virtual environment with augmented reality and augmented virtuality ranging in between. Well, personally, I believe that we've all experienced some form of mixed reality at some point in our lives. Dr. Javis T. Doswell's invention of the context-aware augmented reality system CARS platform is a product line architecture for manufacturing wearable AR head-mounted displays and software. Inventions like these provide countless ways to interact with the real and the unreal. Consider the movies and the video games that have just come out. Imagine breaking out the toys and putting on a pair of cool glasses where you can not only see your play environment, but interact with figures and logistics information as well. You know, the type of toy, what it's good for, and even the GPS positioning of your target. Cool stuff, huh? Have you ever wondered how fun it would be to put on a pair of fancy goggles and play a video game against a game character that appears to exist in the real world? Augmented reality, or AR, is a term to denote a computer artifact ranging from text to animation projected in the real environment to augment one's perception of the real environment. 
Remember seeing the Jolt TV host and hostess on the Jolt TV set? Can you determine what part of the environment was real and what part was fake? Well, the set was virtual and the hosts are real. This is the concept of augmented virtuality. The merging of real world objects into virtual worlds. Have you recently played a video game like Ghost Recon? There's so much info and so many ways that, this, that the screen can change. What do you do to kind of balance that barrage of info so that the player can kind of just step right into it and start playing? Sure. So uh, what you're seeing is the augmented reality. There's a Did you see the Matrix when Neo mastered Kung Fu and owned ours? Have you ever wanted to explore a different world that you imagine with exotic flowers, wonderful smells, and unique cultures different from our own? Yeah. Yeah. What? Where's everything? Everything just disappeared. Wow, this is phenomenal. If you've answered yes to any of these questions, then you have either experienced or at least thought about being immersed in a virtual reality environment. Wow, this is a real amazing discovery and now that i have that straight let's see what objects topia scientists are doing on your reality kind of sort of align in okay so we see that that in there with the gum sticks over Good evening. Um, my name is Olufemi Ologobo. I am um, the lead software engineer for Juxtopia. And we are currently in our lab at uh, Morgan State University working on developing an augmented reality platform presently running off the Android operating system. This is the Overo um, platform. It is the smallest computer in existence pretty much right now. And uh, it runs with, uh, I don't know, I guess I'll get, uh, put out some specs, uh, 600 megahertz uh, processing speed, uh, 256 megabytes of RAM, 456 megabytes of RAM, uh, and pretty much uh, onboard graphics accelerator chip with uh, a summit board, which is like an expansion board for extra features like the HDMI port, uh, input output jack and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, the whole point of this is pretty much, this is uh, mean, was our former platform in powering uh, an augmented reality um, system. And what we're trying to do is to, to build a pair of goggles pretty much of this form factor that we could wear and you could see an augmented reality uh, interface on your reality interface. Pretty much it's like you are looking at reality and you are seeing a digital, digitally annotated interface on whatever you see. Think Iron Man movies and you know some of the most high-tech stuff you see. So we're trying to bring that to reality. And uh, well, we have gotten so far as to having a uh, head-mounted display displaying a monitor in front of you in, the, in your field of view, allowing you to see a transparent image of the monitor screen and in such a way that it does not obstruct your field of view but actually accentuates the information that is being fed to your optics and uh, you know we are looking forward trying to incorporate as many things as possible especially when we think of the word co context aware context aware signifies being able to um, have the software actually recognize objects object recognition object recognition uh, registration which involves you know having um, the object be annotated with some kind of a visual outline so as to facilitate, you know, recognition and other things that can be done with it. So that is the future. And, uh, you know, looking at, looking forward, we can see things like, you know, hand gesture recognition, um, being able to control the monitor and your computer screen, not on the table using the keyboard and, you know, what we already use to hand gestures and, you know, screen, uh, maybe stuff like LCD screens and touch screen control, but in air, you know, air control, gesture recognition, being able to touch 
and you know uh, very similar to what well, I think Microsoft Surface has right now although Microsoft Surface still requires some kind of a surface this is the first prototype we were able to put together of our platform we were thinking at first of getting this on the heads of display putting this whole circuitry on your head uh, in form of uh, optics and wearable uh, headset of course that didn't work out thinking about heat we're thinking about you know power issues we're thinking about uh, portability we're thinking about form factor and it's we just figured it would be kind of awkward if we had to wear this on someone's head i mean some people might be cool with it but yeah not everyone would like that and we wanted to so we're still looking at getting it to as small a form factor as possible meanwhile this is for the most part uh the first prototype of our product very proud of it it's a uh, the hip pack which uh, houses the most of the processing power that controls the computer as we call it and then this would serve as the connections to the external head mounted display and that would of course connect to our goggles uh, we had one set already shipped out it was our first sale we're very proud to announce that and we are looking to make improvements as time goes on uh, to taking this and making it as small portable and as affordable as possible Hopefully we hope to inspire uh, as many of you out there watching to taking up engineering and computer science and more technical fields because it's fun. It's not as complicated as it does, as it might seem. Um, it really, uh, you know, it, it's fun to be able to take something and make it happen and make, see people wear it and use it. Uh, there's a very um, big sense of achievement that comes from knocking your head on the wall for a while and then having that break that sense of achievement and that you know it's a rush and it, it, it's uh, it, it's it's worth it every time it, it's cool to think of it that way um you know, it'll, it'll be cool to see if we can actually make it happen and uh, get a product out there uh, as i said before we made our first sale uh to um a university uh, research based that was very we're very proud of it and we hope to just work with as many universities as possible get this thing going uh, i'm happy about the fact that it's really black uh, it's mostly hbcus involved in this you know giving us that you know i i like the fact that they're we, we, we seem we look to break a, a very serious stereotype as far as you know black community not being involved in technical fields not being able to handle science and uh, you know think up an idea and actually create it and bring it out and make it work uh, so uh, look down I, I'd say in the next two years I'd say this I look to this becoming you know one of the big things out there you know and y'all will be here knowing where it started wow this is some slick stuff here I would love to have a pair of those AR goggles can they help me with my English homework I sure could use those while applying black ops. I've really learned a lot today. I know now that augmented reality projects digital information over a person's real world visual spectrum and contrasts visual reality immerses the individual in a 3D simulation. Yeah, that was a great episode. I learned a lot today myself. It feels real good. Whoa, thank well, that pretty much wraps it up for today's show. But before we go, we want to leave you with this week's challenge question. And for this week's challenge, we want to know, how would you use wearable augmented reality? The most innovative answer submitted gets a prize. This has been Torella with a Jokes TV exclusive. See you next week. This episode of Jolt TV Engineering Your Performance has been sponsored by the National Science Foundation, U.S. Army Medical Research and Material Command, Telemedicine and Advanced Technology Research Center, and the Harbor Bank.